Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking all about my hair. This is my updated hair video to give you all the information that you guys have been asking about. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering what my hair color is and what other things that I've been doing to my hair. So I'm just going to explain it all in this video. I have all of my like hair products sitting behind me and I will go through each of them individually. And since I've dyed it darker, a lot of you guys have been asking me what color it is. Pretty much in every single one of my videos, you guys have been asking me about my hair so I thought this would be a good idea to just do this video for you guys obviously I am wearing extensions because I think my hair was about this length before and obviously it did not grow this much and it is not this thick so I love my hair extensions and I have talked about these hair extensions in the past I've done a couple of videos on them so I will link it down below for you but they are my irresistible me hair extensions I love them and they definitely add a lot more volume and length to my hair right now and the color matches it perfectly. So let's just jump right into it and start off with my hair color. And I am always a little bit hesitant to answer that question because I honestly don't use the same color every single time I dye my hair. It's just a generic medium brown hair color that I find from the drugstore. But even if I told you guys the exact color and the brand and everything, you guys probably won't get the same color result as I have. Because if you remember, my hair was really, really light to begin with before I colored it dark. So the color took differently and even now when I touch it up with the medium brown hair dyes it is a different result so I don't want to tell you guys one thing and then you guys go home and try it because you've bought the product that I told you about and it ends up being something totally different but I do want to talk about the current hair dye that I am using and it's the color you guys are seeing right now I actually just touched up my hair the other day so this is fresh color and I love the way it looks but this is a color that I got from eSalon.com and they are actually brand new to me but I really wanted to try it out and tell you guys about it because it's such a cool idea. So basically you go on their website and you fill out just a couple of questions and you tell them specifically what color you want your hair color to be. And on the other end there is an actual hair colorist reviewing your profile and they actually formulate and customize a specific hair color for you so that you can have the hair color that you want. And I just thought that was such a cool idea. And they actually have an office here in California so they invited me out to check out their space and see how everything works and the process of mixing these colors for you guys and it was such a cool experience I will insert a clip for you guys to check out but I got to see the actual colorists reviewing profiles and getting ready to customize and mix these colors for you guys and then I got to see the line how everything gets mixed and packaged and sent off to the client and since I was at the office they did mix my batch for me and I got to see how that was done and I love that everything is so personalized your name is on the hair color and you actually get your own personalized set of instructions with your name on it and it tells you exactly what you need to do to get the hair color that you want so I just love the fact that it's super personalized and going back to what I said about just picking up any generic hair color from the drugstore even if I told you guys the color you guys won't get the same results but if you were to sit there and fill out your information talk with a stylist from East salon they will probably do a better job at getting the hair color that you guys want to achieve but it honestly doesn't get any easier or better than having your own colorist at your fingertips you just basically fill out the information online and then you get your personalized hair color sent to you link down below for you guys to get 50% off your first order if you want to try it out. I think that comes down to like $10 for your customized home coloring kit. So I will link that down below. So now let's move on to some of the current hair products that I'm using. I honestly don't have like a set specific 
type of product that I use all the time. I kind of try all types of products all the time. And right now I'm trying out a line from Clairol called Hair Food. And I believe you can just find these at Target. But this is their root cleansing shampoo infused with strawberry ginger fragrance. And it smells amazing. But this is a deep cleansing shampoo, which I love. This is also silicone free, paraben free, and mineral oil free. And that's important because I do have pretty fine and flat hair. So a lot of products can tend to leave buildup on my hair, but this does not. So I really like this so far. I also prefer deep cleansing shampoos over regular shampoos just because they leave my hair feeling cleaner longer. And I tend to like to embrace my like third day hair, even fourth day hair. So this is a great shampoo. And then I also have their volume conditioner and this is infused with kiwi fragrance. Again, it's paraben free, mineral oil free, and this is supposed to provide a lightweight condition for a more bouncy, voluminous look. And if you guys know me, I love my big hair. And last but not least, I have the thickening hair treatment, which is also infused with the kiwi fragrance. I think all the kiwi stuff is made for volumizing. But this is supposed to help with like big, bouncy, voluminous hairstyles, and you just spray this in dry or wet hair, and you just work it all over, and you leave it on, and then you're good to go. But all of this stuff smells and works really well, and I really like it so far. And then I just have one other hair product that I use all the time, and this is from Mitch Stone. This is the Set in Stone Firm Hold Hairspray, and I really like this one for when I'm like teasing my hair or I need my hair to last all day long. They also have the Session Spray, which I really like as well. It's not as firm, but it really does a good job at holding your curls and whatnot. And I believe you can find his products at Ulta, so I highly recommend his hairsprays. I think they work amazing. I don't think I've ever talked about my blow dryer on camera before, but this is a hair dryer from QT Performance Hairstyling, and I forget what model it is specifically, but I will link it down below. And this is an amazing blow dryer if that is something that people say, but it really does dry my hair super, super fast, and it does not feel like it's damaging it. There are three heat settings and three like control settings as well, but I love this hair dryer. I think it was a little bit more on the pricier side, but I do think that it really pays off to invest on better hair tools that don't damage your hair in the long run. And I try not to put too much heat on my hair because of all the hair coloring and bleaching that I do to my hair. It's especially more damaging when you're doing a lot of heat styling. So this is a great hair dryer. And then for my curls that you guys see all the time, I've talked about this curling iron before, but it's my Numi Titan 3. This is the largest barrel. I believe it's the 33 or 34 millimeter, but it's the largest one that it comes in. But I love the big body waves that it gives my hair and it's just kind of loose and voluminous. So I love this curling iron. It heats up super fast so you don't have to wait around for it and it makes it really easy to do my hair. And if you do have a hard time doing your curls, I think this is a really good curling iron to try because it does have adjustable heat settings and then also a lot of people ask how I get my curls to last all day and I definitely think it has a lot to do with the heat tools that you use so I really like my Titan 3 and if you do have longer hair like me you want to make sure that you give your curls time to set after you remove it from the barrel so when you are curling your hair and then you release it I always just let it set in my hand for a little bit until it gets a little bit cooler and this will make the curls last a lot longer and they look a lot more bouncy and soft that way so there's my little tip there and then my other little tool that I use all the time and I have talked about before is my deep crimper from Bex and this is a tiny tiny little crimper if you can see the little grooves in here if you guys have fine thin hair and you want to create a lot of volume I highly recommend trying this but I use this on my roots and I just break up the crimps or I go in and tease my hair and creates a lot of volume so this is what I use to volumize my hair if you guys were wondering and to go along with that this is my little teasing comb that I use I just got this at Target I've mentioned it before but I've tried a ton of them out there and this one works the best because the bristles are really short and they're very firm so when you are teasing
glazing and back combing this does a really good job and it makes it so much easier and the other brush that I'm using is the tangle teaser and I got this at Target for around like 12 or 13 dollars but I think if you have a paddle brush that works just the same so if you don't want to go and spend like $13 on a hairbrush just use your paddle brush and for that price I would have expected this brush to like brush my hair for me or something other than that those are all of the products and like hair tools that I'm using currently and that I really really like um, I would say that I go like three days before washing because I tend to have flatter hair so the more washing I do the more flat it seems to lay and I just like the look of messy dirty hair if that makes sense I know that I've talked about it before but try to embrace your messy dirty hair because it just styles so much easier but I will link all of the products that I mentioned down below for you guys let me know if I missed any questions and I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can find me on my Twitter Facebook and Instagram I am also considering going a little bit lighter again I don't know how I feel but I might take out the extensions and go back to like to my medium shoulder length hair and just put in a little bit of color I kind of want to try out some fun colors but let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will see you guys next time bye am I beautiful So I always I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean brush it, brush it, brush it. Let's contour a little bit on the face. Are we ready? I don't know.